Hey, what's up, people? This is Samir from World with PC Channel. In this video, I'm going to show you people how to access your computer remotely from other device. So, uh, it's going to be a pretty interesting topic that I have chosen today. And uh, yeah, and I will make sure that this video is going to be a very power packed video. So, let's get started. Yeah, here I use a software called uh, TeamViewer. Uh, which they have uh, got a lots of update uh, recently and uh, what you need to do here in order to access your computer remotely is that you have a section called personal password uh, click on this and uh, click next and this should be uh, your computer name and uh, let it be like that and you can set any password that you like and click next here uh, you need to enter a team viewer email id or password all those if you don't have any team viewer password you can create it by clicking on this radio button or else uh, you can if you have already a team viewer account you can click on it and then uh, enter that uh, username and uh, password or email id password or else if you don't have any uh, i want to create a uh, right now you can just uh, you don't want if you don't want to create any team viewer account you can click on this uh, radio button and then click next but I strongly recommend uh, to do uh, this uh, free team viewer account which is really necessary so uh, already I have an email ID of it so I'm gonna enter that click next anywhere we are your computer list from now on so once if you uh, did this uh, there will be a uh, an icon which shows that uh, now I mean PC and um, yeah uh, right now I'm in uh, on the other device so from this uh, device which is uh, nothing but a laptop I'm going to access my computer so uh, once if you've done that signing process uh, you need to go to uh, your email ID and uh, check for it this is a login or teamviewer.com where you need to log in if you are uh, if you created a teamviewer account uh, uh, very newly and uh, you need to go and confirm it in your uh, email account yeah you will be getting something like this um, thank you for registration team and you need to click on this link in order to go to this page and uh, you need to enter a email ID which I, you have given in the team your account and then the password. Once you have entered into your uh, team your account, there you can see something uh, new computer has been added, which is nothing but that audio process have done. So this is my PC, home PC, uh, nothing but a victim. So there is an option called uh, connect. So what happens when I click on this uh, connect button is that you can see on your own eyes. Yeah. Now I'm accessing my computer from my laptop. This is pretty cool and um, you can even uh, use this process in order to check uh, what other people are doing in your computer when you're not there. Uh, this is the one one kind of device that we can use. Also, this kind of app is available in Android. So the process will be the same, and if possible, I'll try to. Um, I will I will be uploading that also. So uh, on, and you can uh, notice that uh, your uh, desktop uh, background is uh, changing completely into the black. You can say change that. Uh, yeah, in here, which is nothing but view remove wallpaper. So um, the victim won't be uh, annoyed when you do this process. So also you need you can uh, just uh, swipe this out like that. And if you can see, and uh, the both in my comp PC and the laptop, the things are moving the same. And you can do so many things with this uh, team viewer when you it's happening. I mean, like uh, you can even transfer files with very high speed. Which is very very high speed, uh, my friends. Uh, if for example, uh, let us uh, take the most uh, highest memory which I have. For example, uh, QuickTime installer which I already. So I'm gonna transfer this file to my computer. So I'm just click on this, click on this layer, and then send it. Uh, 
yeah you can easily transfer it at a very high speed and that's also one of the very uh, great uh, benefit that we have here and uh, this is a chat that we can have between the two computers over there and here you can even uh, record this uh, the thing what's going on in your both computers so which is a kind of proof that what other person is doing on the other computer it's uh, really pretty cool so yep uh, this is it for today and uh, hope you like this video and uh, if you like this video don't forget to hit like and um, there are, uh, and if you have any other doubts uh, just to comment on my uh, video and I will I will reply you for uh, hundred percent so thanks for watching you might be wondering what is a VGA. Yeah, VGA is uh, nothing but uh, video graphics array uh, cable. Uh, so what we're gonna do is um, another thing you need to know about uh, VGA cables is that uh, make sure these things are very accurate with your monitor as well as your laptop. So if you have, if you don't have, kindly borrow with anyone you have. Few type of RAMs that we have that is uh, one DDR1 and DDR2 and DDR3. And nowadays we have DDR4 also, but. Um, the next thing you need to know about uh, is that uh, if you have 2 GB RAM in your uh, motherboard, then uh, you need to upgrade your RAM uh, additionally to 2 GB RAM. Uh, you cannot go with uh, 4 GB RAM or uh, 